This is Saturday, July 19, uh, 2014. We are in the campus of the Thalbaramadiya Kshetram, the beautiful campus. Um, this, is, this campus belongs to the Carmelites of Mary Maglet, and we have here Tony Augustin Alanjeri. Tony, thank you for coming for today's seminar, and uh, it was nice to see a young face in the crowd uh, who is enthusiastic about our Zurich tradition. So the question that I want to ask you is, how do you feel about reviving the Zurich tradition of the Siromarabal Church? Yeah, first of all, thank you, Father. It was wonderful listening to you this morning. Okay, coming to your question, um, reviving our tradition is like finding your roots. Uh, when you live outside the country or outside the state, uh, you start getting the question either from within or from your friends, who you are, what you are. When that question comes, I felt it once or twice when, you were, when I was outside the state, and that question comes to somebody's mind at some stage of their life. So for me, especially from my religious point of view and my faithful point of view, the tradition I have is the Syriac tradition. So therefore, reviving that is finding myself and my, finding my way. So probably in the last maybe 20 or 30 years, we might have missed a little bit. I think I look forward to works which people like you are doing to revive that. And I think a lot of people, even the younger generation, will be looking forward to getting back to their roots. I think that is finding your roots and finding your own itself, what you are, where you are from, mm. is the basic mm. thing in my view. Now, I appreciate your enthusiasm. Uh, from your experience with other young people, do you think they would take pains to learn, uh, say for example, some Syriac words and incorporate them into their prayer vocabulary? I think so. I personally, I think they would. Uh, primarily, if we can provide them the meaning of that, uh, the way we you shared with us the meaning of the word ruha. Uh, I knew that there's a word called ruha, but the the magnitude of its meaning isn't known to many of our people. In every language, there are words that define themselves by their sounds. The sound of the word itself is its meaning. Such words emerge out of the communal wisdom of the speakers of a language. Usually, these words are understood in exactly the same way by the speakers of the same language across the board. One such example from the Aramaic lexicon is the word ruh, which literally means breath. The utterance of this word requires a special use of air and energy that explicates the meaning. Ruh is pre-language, even pre-word. It is pre-om. Ruh is the raw material with which words and meanings are constructed. So if there is a medium by which the magnitude of that word can be shared with them, and if you can achieve a convey a much more wider meaning with a smaller word or one word, I think people will appreciate that. So I think uh, there is a responsibility for the seniors and maybe for all of us to make interest, uh, make it interesting for them to understand and make them understand what does it mean and what is how it can be value, adding value to their prayers or daily life or in communication. I think people will go out of the way too and the medium is plenty available especially the the usage of internet mm -hmm. and such mediums, the, mm -hmm. the social networks, can mm -hmm. help us to mm -hmm. communicating if there is a channel by which or a medium by which three words are put up for study and mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. every every day or every week. Mm -hmm. I think that will be good enough. There will be people who can enlist in a, a in a Facebook group mm -hmm. uh, who are interested to know this. I think people will be interested uh, to know that. Will you be, if there is a chance, will you be able to learn Will you be interested in learning the Lord's Prayer in Aramaic? Sure, sure. Did you ever hear that prayer? Uh, uh, no. I have heard. I have heard. I once in a while I do attend uh, um, uh, the mass of our uh, sister uh, communities of uh, Jacobites and yes. uh, Orthodox. Yes. So because I like the hymns, I like the tune, so uh -huh. I do attend once in a while. Uh -huh. And uh, of course, I have heard. So I have also thought about. Yes, we don't get the full meaning of it. So that is why people say that it's just a sound. Uh -huh. The sound 
if it remains a sound, yeah. it's only a kick of the tune. Yeah. But the meaning has to come. Yeah. I think that's that's yeah. the difference, yeah. Very good. During the uh, after lecture conversation, you mentioned about the cultural yep. elements that could be revived. Yeah. So elaborate a little more on that. Yeah, uh, my thought on that is um, the work you are doing is brilliant and it's very, very useful for the posterity. Uh, but music is one aspect of a religious identity or a cultural identity. There are so many other things which identifies uh, a, a, a culture. So in my view, the dress, the dress itself is a, a big identity for a group of people, mm -hmm. uh, especially for the Syrian Christians. We have a traditional uh, dressing style which is lost probably for a variety of reasons. So at least for our customary occasions, probably we should use that and we should encourage using that. Mm -hmm. So dress is one aspect. Mm -hmm. Some good traditions we had, the way we celebrated uh, the weddings in the families, mm -hmm. or uh, we talked about uh, the Pesaha, mm -hmm. or uh, so many other things which you have, which identifies ourselves. I think cultural identity, dress related identity, Music, of course, like a lot of work is mm -hmm. happening there. Mm -hmm. So this all adds value to the identity of a person. You are not just mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So they have different dimensions. So we would like to explore them too. Thank you, Tony. Wonderful, that Father. And nice all the you. best. And Thank I look you. forward to another opportunity of interacting and meeting with you. Absolutely. Wonderful. Thank okay, you. All the best. Pray for us too. Thank you. Okay. Pray for me too. Thank <laughs> you. Bye.